Uh, as you can see, I have uh, made uh, magnetic uncouplers by placing rare earth magnets under the track with uh, opposing poles up under each track so that the uh, uh, micro train uncouplers will be pulled apart and you can uncouple the cars. As you can see when the tra passes over them nothing happens, it doesn't uncouple, it has to stop. You'll also see a mark which I will make into a post somewhere. If it stops there you pull forward, they're uncoupled. Now you won't be able to recouple unless you shunt the car back. Then you can leave, come back later, and pick it up. As you see it works every time. Push it back, then come and get it. Now one thing I noticed that I wanted to put in this video is that I have two uncouplers next to each other. Uh, when I put them in, this pole was reversed to this pole and this pole was reversed to this pole so they would work but I had problems with the sun coupler and that's because this pole and this pole were the same and I was getting too much pull in this direction and they almost never uncoupled. I reversed the poles so that this pole is opposite to this, this pole is opposite to this, and this pole is opposite to this, and now both work fine. The way you tell if uh, the poles are the same or opposite, if I take a, uh, a magnet and try to place it down on top of this one, if it attracts, it's the same pole. If it repels, it's a different pole. So make sure you have your poles correct and your magnetic couplers will work fine even through the ballast I'm going to put on there. And that's a demonstration of the magnetic uncouplers which cost me a total of maybe one dollar a piece.